Hello my friends. Thank you for clicking another one of our videos today. We're gonna be showing you how to replace the damp valve for the black tank and the gray tank. I have already removed the old valves. I just have to cut, up, cut them off, you know, with a saw saw, just to make it easy to remove them. The uh, reason why we're replacing this is because the, the valves, they were so hard to pull and to push. I mean, so, and even if you push them in, they were still kind of dripping a little bit. And uh, of course, you don't, you don't want any leaky valves anywhere, not even in your house. And as you can see, these are the tools we need for this job. We're gonna need WD-40. We need uh, two uh, flathead screwdrivers, pair of channel locks, body knife. And uh, I always like to use this uh, uh, multi-tool. This is pretty handy for just about any job on an RV. Uh, we have two 716 uh, wrenches and two 516 wrenches. And of course we need a rag, always need a clean rag, you know, to clean your parts or whatever, if you get dirt on them. Uh, this is the new valve. This is a valve combination. Actually, uh, it goes this way. This is the black, which is the toilet. And this is the, the gray water, which is the, the sink and shower. So there you are. So, and it's, this valve is kind of hard to, to replace simply because you cannot move the tank that way or this one this way and you have to fit this in there in between the two tanks you can see the space is I mean it is really hard to do but what we're gonna do is actually take the valves this completely out and this other one out we're gonna get these uh, the pieces that go in the tank first and the one that go here and then we're gonna try to slide it in and I mean, we're gonna have to jiggle it or whatever, you know, we'll, we'll have to get them in, so. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what we're doing. This is why we need two 716 wrenches. One to hold it, to hold the bolt, and the other one to, to loosen up the nuts. So, uh, in the same way over here with the 516, so that's why you need four wrenches. Uh, we're going to head and take this valve completely off so we can get this piece in there in the tank and we're going to do the same thing with the uh, with the other side which is the uh, great water and there we are we have removed the bolts and the nuts now when you take this apart make sure make sure the seals stay in place or if they come out, if they come off for any reason, make sure to put them in before you put the valve in. Otherwise, you're gonna have to take everything back out again and do it all over. So be very cautious. Now, we use the WD-40 on this uh, uh, piece here. That'll make it easier to slide it in. Look at that. That's magic in a can. So now let's proceed to put the, the other pieces on and hopefully everything will be like, uh, like we planned. Okay, my friends, this is where we are. See, we already put the this one over here, which is the uh, the black one or the toilet water. And now we're gonna proceed to lubricate the seals with WD-40, set them in place. And this should give us just enough room to, to get it in. I mean, just this is the easiest way to replace a damp valve. I mean, just follow these instructions and you won't, won't be having issues with it. This is very easy. Remove this valve, remove the drain piece, get the sleeve in the tank first, and then uh, 
set the, the seal in place, set the valve, put the, bol the bolts and the nuts, don't tighten them, just, just kind of screw them in by hand so you can swivel it and move it. Then go ahead and uh, get these, uh, the drain piece in, same way, you know, just, uh, just leave it loose. And that way you'll have enough room, just enough room to get the two inch valve in here for the gray water. Okay, my friends, we had completed the dump valves. This is the gray one. Pull, open push to close black one or the toilet pull to open or to dump push to close everything is done it's completed and that's how it looks thank you guys for watching and I hope this video helped anybody out there please subscribe to my channel give us a like share this video with your friends Thank you very much. God bless you. See you next time.